Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, Jeremy here. Uh, apologies for not having made anything in a little while. It's It's been a really busy wedding week, but I have some reviews for you. First one being The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Now that I'm doing this review, I don't even know if the movie's still in theaters, but I still wanted to talk about it because for a movie that takes about maybe a couple of sentences from Bram Stoker's Dracula the book, it does a pretty decent job in being its own kind of like alien-esque sort of take on the Doom Voyage, the boat that would bring Dracula from Transylvania to England. Now, going into this film, I did not know that there was a history with it in terms of it trying to get made. There were delays, director switches, writer switches. This movie was in production hell for a very long time, apparently, and you wouldn't really know it, and you wouldn't really even think it either, considering the content. I can say one thing that might have affected it was Stephen Moffat's Dracula that Netflix series where the first two episodes are pretty decent and the third one's utter giant dog shit, admittedly was the thing I was comparing this to because the second episode is essentially this story. So how does it stack up? The film does follow the crew of the Demeter as they are embarking on their voyage from Romania or whatever to London. And obviously things start to go wrong because one of the things that is on their ship is Dracula, and what begins with random animal killings soon turns into missing crew members as Dracula is slowly attacking and draining his victims and growing in strength. I saw someone make a comparison that this is kind of like Alien but on a boat. In a small way, it sort of is. Uh, for instance, Liam Cunningham is not the main actor. You think he is because he's the captain, but no, in fact, it's the doc who was Dr. Dre in Straight Outta Compton, if I'm correct. Everyone in this film does a commendable job, even the kid. I thought that everyone just kind of did their part. There wasn't anything stand out. Probably one of the parts that did do really well in certain spots, and then all of a sudden kind of wouldn't, was the sound design. I thought the sound design for the ship, because they used this knocking thing. And there was one point where something happened, which everyone thought, well, why is no one hearing it? and then they would come back and refer to it, so they kind of got themselves out of this own little issue. But for the most part, the sound design was really good. I thought the VFX, uh, both with uh, CG and practical, because Dracula is both in this movie, I thought that was done pretty well. For the most part, the tension, which is something that I find horror directors forget that they have to do before you do the scare. You have to build up to that scare. You have to earn it to deserve it. And this movie does that for the most part in certain sections, but then there are some moments where the payoff, the scare itself, is kind of lackluster. This was kind of like a teeter-totter effect, because some were really good, and some were really bad. And there was one issue that the film sort of addresses, but in terms of how it's used in the movie, it's a little bit lackadaisical, is just the fact that Dracula can just bloop, he just disappear. At one point, they are in a room where the only way out is this one door. Someone is attacked. They go into said room. Dracula's gone. They don't even make a mention of, oh, how could he have gotten out of here? Oh, was there some form of scurrying through a small drain pipe or through a hole in the wall or something like that? Nope, he's just fucking gone. And that part did bother me a little bit. If you've seen Bram Stoker's Dracula by Francis Ford Coppola, an amazing movie, by the way. Both good and bad parts all around just make it so fucking good. I should talk about that movie one day. You know that he can transform into different creatures, different animals. So I was kind of surprised that it didn't do that in this movie, but I guess maybe they were limited. And again, this movie did go through a bunch of different directors, so maybe that might have been something that could have come up. Either way, the film does have tension. It has characters that are there, but they're a little bit more than one note for the most part. The tension is better, I feel, than the actual horror elements at certain points. And probably the most commendable bit is that, despite the fact that you know exactly how this movie's gonna end, they even address it with how the movie starts, you still are committed and entertained throughout. But coming back to what I talked about earlier with a comparison to the Stephen Moffat episode, he did it better. And it's not just because that in the Stephen Moffat version, the guy who played Dracula was a fucking great dick. Like, just so good at being an asshole. Just in how that episode executed this part of the story with killing off people, 
the tension, the horror, the attempt to try and stop him and still that feeling that maybe they could even though you know the outcome. I thought that it did it better in the show than it did in this movie and it did it in nearly half the time. Don't get me wrong, what it leads into is absolute ass, but I thought that the boat episode was really well done in the Dracula series. Either way though, The Last Voyage of the Demeter is a commendable movie. I think it's okay. If you have the chance to see it in theaters and you are a fan of horror, especially vampire horror, I think you might enjoy it. In the end, I'm going to give The Last Voyage of the Demeter a 4 out of 7. That's it. That's kind of it for me. Anyways, guys, that's my review. Again, apologies for being wherever i've got a lot of other ones coming um but i will be talking about one thing that just completely drained me recently and it's not actually my business uh but something else anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe until then see you guys next time